Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome to Will You Press the Button with our special guest, the Miniature Lad. Say hello, Miniature Lad. Hello, Miniature Lad. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have never seen this game before on my channel because I've never fucking played it. Craig told me about it about an hour ago and I said, sure, let's do it. It's just like higher or lower, except that this time you get to press a button. Mm -hmm. That's really about the only difference. Points are going to be the same little situation. I think we're going to do two. And if it goes by too quick, maybe we'll do three. We, we we'll tried see. four last time, and we realized that we're... <laughs> it just kept going. <laughs> yeah, we got like 13 right in a row, and we're like, okay, we, we can't afford to be here till 4 a.m. So yeah. we changed up the rules a little bit. So uh, we'll play it by air and see. If we burn through a couple of them, and we and we just are mentally just void, uh, and we lose a couple <laughs> <Mentally> points, <void. laughs> then we'll adjust it accordingly. So, um... Yeah, let's dig into it and see what we got going on here. So, Craig, mm -hmm. you can become fabulously wealthy. Fabulously. I like so it. So fabulous. Mm -hmm. But you become completely deaf. So you're Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Pardon me, he's been deaf for a while now. Uh, <laughs> he's, been, he's been. I don't think he's dead, is he? No, he's deaf. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought he's you said he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the music part would be pretty difficult, but <laughs> I, I thought for a second. I'm like, wait, he's been deaf his entire life. Oh. How the fuck can you make music if you're deaf? I'm sorry. I Which had the, I had the biggest what? brain lapse. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my, my god, god, no, that's fine, that's fine. I didn't even think of that either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a major composer, I think, what was it, Beethoven or Bach, maybe, was uh -huh. deaf. Oh, so really? it, it's not totally far-fetched. Oh, that's really funny, though. But what's funny is that oh. he's not, he's not deaf at all. No. <laughs> the wrong person. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go, will not. Money okay. is never Alright. He will not! Perfect! There you 60%. go. We're in the clear. There you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> the top All comment. Right. But if you're rich, you can pay to not be deaf anymore. Reply. It doesn't <laughs> work like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can enter any horror movie and actually survive like you always believed you could. But, seeing everyone else die sends you in a downward spiral and makes you- Oh my god, it makes you the killer in the next movie. In the next movie, so it's not- <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, that's, so, that, that's a little twist at the end. So you become part of the movie. It's yeah, like you leave reality. But it's not actually you. You're still, you know, Paul from fucking Michigan or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just some office worker out here murdering people. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's um, a movie though. I'm not trying to throw huh. you off. I'm legitimately confused. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I get it. It's uh, that's that's definitely interesting though. Because I guess if I care enough to be in a horror movie and survive. I I would, because I would in horror movies, you got killer? like Jason Voorhees, who's like everyone still knows about him. You know, Edward Scissorhands, all terrible people and villains, yeah. but people still know them. Exactly. So, and it's a movie, good reason, so though. it's not like <laughs> you don't hate the person in real life if they play a video or a, play a villain in a movie. I know, but are, are, do you become the actor or do you become the actual fucking like swah, 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 killer? I'm still and trying to figure out if I want to. You know what? I will not. Fuck that shit. <laughs> By a that thousand. was almost bad news. Shit. Holy shit. Okay, okay. GG's. All right. Just by the skin of my teeth. Okay, so you gain the ability, not me, you. Mm -hmm. Gain the ability to pause time at any moment. You may affect the world around you while it is frozen. However, no electronics will work. You also will not age when time is paused. This sounds a little familiar. But all your friends and your family will age at an accelerated rate while you age at a slower run. Slower run. Uh, let's say one. <laughs> this effect is passed on to all friends and family, even when gains after the pressing of this button. So instead of you aging, everyone else ages and you're fine. Alright, I know this is a lot to take in. That's about 12 pages of dialogue there. I'm gonna say yes, because I feel like, again, if you pause time, it's only for a very quick amount of time. You're not gonna pause it for a long period of time. Fair. Yeah. It's gonna be like, you know, hey, let me get a quick hour, go for a nap, and then we get right back at it, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna press that. Gonna... 
All right, let's do it. Oh, well, fuck me anyway. You know, that's, that's, that's uh -huh. oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, uh. Well, I'm oh. sorry, but all your all your friends. It depends dead. how accelerated it is. If it's like a year a second, different story. Yeah, you've gone for like 10 seconds. You come back, they've got, you know, a couple kids. <laughs> couple, wrink <laughs> couple wrinkles, a little bit of gray hair. It's like, wow, Uncle Minnie, where'd you come from? Oh my God. <laughs> I was gone for 10 seconds. You come back and you've got kids. <laughs> I, I close my eyes. I, I waken up. My kid's going through college. But I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Score. Um, anyway. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> you become immortal and no longer age. Where have we heard this one? Uh, but you spend the next 50 years in maximum security prison. You know, I, I understand the top comment says, you know, what's 50 years when, when you're going to live forever. But do you want to live but, forever? But 50 years in, in, in prison can fuck with someone's head pretty hard. Yeah. But you've got the rest of your life to figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure that's what everybody that pressed the button said, too. So mm -hmm. just for the sake of me preserving myself here, I'm going to press that button. Yeah? Press that button. Let's see what happens. Yep, yep. 57. Yep, there you go. People had the I, same thought I process. I wouldn't want to be immortal, though. I know a lot I of people either. do. I, I don't. <laughs> I, would, I don't either. But I'm sure a lot of people are just like, sure, who gives a fuck? Live right. forever like a vampire. So, you become a genius with lots of money. Mm-hmm. But only people of your gender find you attractive. Are you gay? I mean, it says become a genius. So I'm assuming it's asking you. Hmm. Sadly, I am not gay. And if you're a genius with lots of money, you can just invent really realistic flashlight. Anthony! <laughs> um. On, man. See, okay, so here's my thought process. You become a genius with lots of money. If you're a genius, you could, you know, cure cancer. Or do incredible, incredible things because you're a genius with a lot of money, right? Yeah. It's not exactly specifying what kind of genius you are. You're just everything you're amazing at. So you could find the cures to a lot of things to help a lot of people. So in a turn, I'm kind of taking one for the team here a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna fuck myself. Self sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fuck myself here a little bit. Oh my god. Because money so literally doesn't come into the equation. It's about helping people. Um. Okay. So you, you want to press that button then? Uh, I know people are not going to, but yes, because I'm going to stick with my logic. And I've just All launched right. this video, unless we're doing press three. It. Let's press it! Yes! Oh, no! By a hundred and, like what? No, 89! Oh my fucking lord. I had to sit here oh and stare God. at it for a second. I stuck with my morals! Oh. oh my god! Oh Jesus. Okay. Well, the video continues. Oh. You will get any car that you want on the market plus maintenance, but you can only sit in the car while driving. Wait, what? You can only sit in the car while driving, and it's the only car you'll ever own. You can only sit in the car while driving. I don't ever plan on standing and driving. I. We're just sitting in it in the garage for an hour. I can only sit in the car. Oh, while driving. But you, while driving, so you're still driving, and you're gonna be. You can only sit while you're driving the. Um, what? That's why I did double read that because I don't see what the point of even saying that is. Oh, only you can sit in the car while driving. Oh. So I couldn't have anybody in the car with me. Well, I mean, if it you're gonna, only... chances are you can get any car that you want on the market. A lot of people are gonna get supercars, which is only a two person. Yeah, but you can't have anybody in the car with you. Yeah, well, tell them to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like, hey, dude, I just got this new car. You want to come over and check it out? He'd be like, yeah, dude, absolutely. And I'd be like, well, too fucking bad. Yeah, and Sign exactly. this little form that says nobody else is allowed in this shit ever. Just become a complete asshole saying you're going to ruin my leather. Like, mm. Right. So uh, so the obvious answer here would be like, yeah, I want it. I'll, I'm going to get like a uh, McLaren or something. Yeah. And, it, and it's 2018. And then oh. 60 years from now, I still have a 2018 McLaren because it's the only car I can ever own. But then, but there's nothing saying you can sell it. And if you get a car, it's going to appreciate. Say, for example, you get the new Ford GT, which only hundreds of people in America have, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to appreciate yep. so much. Uh-huh. So you could probably and, make like a, a good million dollar profit on that. And then, and then sell it and what? Ride the bus? Uber, it, Lyft, I, I, parents, <laughs> friends. You have a million dollars. You have millions yeah, of sure. friends. <laughs> Press that shit. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! There you go. Got you. <laughs>
You can literally just hire car. a chauffeur. <laughs> that's true, that's true. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where have I heard this one before? This should be a, this would be a great TV show. <laughs> All right, Craig. So, you can now manufacture the best meth ever made. Mm -hmm. But you got cancer. So, have you seen Breaking Bad? Never heard of it. What's that about? Okay, motherfucker. Um, so, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, just mute, okay? Just mute your mic and I'll wave and you can come back. Ready? And mute. So, Walter White dies at the end up. So, basically what you're saying is you can manufacture the best, best meth ever. You're gonna lose your family and you're eventually going to die. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Okay, and come back again. Welcome back, those who haven't seen the show. So, that's my logic of why okay. I'm going to say no. Okay. You will not press the button? I will not press the button. There you go. Breaking bad. There you go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good. All right. All right. And though, okay. you will gain exceptional vision. You can see further and more detail and in the dark. But okay. you lose your sense of smell. Hmm. So an interesting twist of that is I lose my sense of smell. Now, I lose a majority of my sense of taste. Yes, exactly. Because it's like, what is that? 50-50 like or some shit like that? So, uh, something like that, yeah. But the plus side of that is all them shits that I don't like, that, that, that don't taste that great, that are good for me. I can eat more of them now. But at the same time, <laughs> you're going to be able to see, like, in more detail from a really long distance. So imagine, like, you know, you're on the top of a mountain and you say to someone, Wow, do you see that over there? Everyone will say no. It's true. Like, wow, do you see that person walking over there five miles away? No. Like... Great! That's awesome! Now you've made an awkward scenario! What? I, my this brain's This also weird. means that I can see my phone exceptionally well while I'm taking a shit, but I won't be bothered by the smell. You know, it's it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's really down to you. <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Fuck it! Take me there! Oh, my, well played. I would've lost that. <laughs> I would've straight That's lost fine. that. Yeah, you would've to smell your own shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you can read other people's minds, mm -hmm. but so can everybody else. That's just introducing people reading each other's minds. Everybody can read everybody's minds. Everyone is just telepathic. That's right. Like thinking to yourself, just... like, damn, that girl thick. She replies without saying anything, going, thank you. Like, um. Yeah, or you look at somebody the wrong way and you can read their thoughts and they're like, man, what's wrong with this bitch? I'm gonna fight this motherfucker. You can have, you can have just mute conversations from anywhere. You know what? This this actually somewhat eliminates uh, the, mobile phones. The fear of meeting new people. Because you can just look at somebody and they can look at you and you're, you can read their thoughts and they can be like, this guy's fucking weird. You just leave. Yeah, true. Or, or if you read their thoughts and they're like, oh, this guy seems cool, you can be like, oh, hello, I'm this person hmm. you know what i mean also tsa well, would get really really easy yeah actually just I would like what that. are you here you would for always be able to read a their that... no you're not <laughs> no you're not <laughs> you got any weird shit in your bag yes mm. okay i can see from your thoughts that you do just remove it now <laughs> right <laughs> um I i'm gonna go yes okay I feel like that could be, I mean, it's what the world's going, not, it's not, well, not going to be now, but it's like, it's a parallel universe. It's what it is. Yeah. Everyone can read each other's minds. I feel like that would change the way the world is, you know? No well, absolutely phones. it would. No mobile phones? Because you can literally just say like, hey, fucking Bobby from Wisconsin. And now you just talk to him like that. And see, what's, see what's up. Think, think about the justice system. Hey, did you kill this person? No. Oh, well, your brain says, yes, you did. You're guilty. Yeah, and then you look, at, you look at every single prank YouTuber, we're like, ah, it's a prank, all they're thinking about is money symbols, you know? Like, it's like, oh, can well, you, fuck you then. Can you read thoughts through video? You can you can read anyone's mind. The, is it close proximity, or is it anywhere? I don't know, you see the same amount of information that I do. We're getting way too deep into this, press the button. <laughs> <laughs> press it! Ah, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> well <played>. Yes, old <laughs> leaked vist. I agree. I have thoughts, disturbing thoughts. Yeah. Me too, man. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I don't want people bumping into me at the airport and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm sorry." And they'll read my thoughts, which is, "Bitch, what the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> like that, that's what my head is saying. So yeah, yeah, that'd be bad. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Change everything, but it would be people pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, well. There it is, GG's. 
Wrapped it up. Look at that. Nice. I won. That's right. It happens. I understand. It's confusing. I'm sure you all are very, very confused right now. <laughs> yes, it does happen. I did win. Craig, congratulations on second place, dude. That's a top finish. Thank you so much. I get a silver medal, you know? That's that's right. That's you right. Gotta see, you gotta stay optimistic out here. That's right, man. How often do you see Panda and Minnie first and second place? I'm good at video games. I'm getting... Like, okay, real talk. I used to fucking... I used to suck ass. <clears throat> suck ass. I'm a little tryhard now. <laughs> I still suck ass. And for $35, I will eat ass. <laughs> I've went sweaty tryhard mode in my videos recently. <laughs> I mean, I can't try hard at Uno and golf. I mean, what the fuck? Well, That's like all this, I'm successful it's, at. It's luck of the draw. You know what I mean? Yeah. Both yeah. just unlucky people. Unlucky it's, all at the same time. It's just all in good fun. Yeah, exactly. Like with Mario Kart now, when I play with Brian and Nogla, I've already accepted my defeat from the beginning. Yep. So I, all I, I do is I'm just... I'm in a very happy third. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in a happy fifth out of six. There you go, yeah. Sometimes. At Sometimes. the end, I'm always at the bottom, though. It's whatever. It's nice <laughs> down there. <laughs> it's cozy. The caboose is the part of the train everybody remembers anyway, right? Get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep, being last is best. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> hey, man. Make the best of everything. Yeah, okay, I, I, I could appreciate that. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Craig, thank you for being in the video. Of course, I will you. link your video, which is already live. Yeah. Mine is not. Well, it is now. You guys just it watched. But Craig uploaded his a day or two ago. He linked mine, which isn't even live yet. Well, it is now because you just watched it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Go check his out. It's going to be in the description. It's a good time. We had a an interesting run at the beginning there. We had to completely change the rules. We did. Yeah, that's why it's only two in this. Because we were too fucking good. So. That's true. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time. Peace and chicken grease. Bye.